Hi everyone, my name is Jason. Welcome to my channel. Are you in the market for a high-end gaming PC that can play all the latest titles at all the highest settings? If so, stick around. I want to tell you a little bit about a PC that I recently picked up. Uh, like you and like many of us, we're kind of uh, stuck at home right now dealing with this uh, coronavirus issue. And so, of course, there's a run on uh, video game systems, whether it be your consoles, PCs, virtual reality. Uh, you go online, it's hard to find just about anything anymore right now. So, you know, with everybody being stuck at home, uh, then you might be in the same situation now where you're looking to purchase a new gaming PC. And if so, I think I might have found a, a really good deal for you uh, that I just picked up a couple days ago myself after a few weeks of research. I was thinking about building my own as well, but uh, at this point in time, uh, with the pricing on the specific parts, I was able to find a nice pre-built system that's actually uh, higher end. Uh, as far as capabilities go than what I could even build myself for a lower price. So hopefully you enjoy the video and if you do like this content please hit the like and subscribe button and without further ado let's get into it. This is the high spec pre-built Hewlett Packard Omen. Step your game up with this desktop computer, the 9th gen Intel Core i7-9700 processor has 16 gigabytes of RAM, which offer high performance for running AAA titles. And the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2070 Super graphics card renders fast frame rates for detailed visuals on the battlefield or on the racetrack. This HP desktop has one terabyte HDD, 512 SSD for file storage and shortened load times. Additionally, this PC comes preloaded with Windows 10 operating system, six super speed USB 3.1 ports, next generation wireless connectivity, Bluetooth 4.2 interface, as well as liquid cooling solutions for the processor. As you saw from the video, you can select over 1 million different color combinations for the desktop itself. Also comes with a 750 watt power supply, along with a keyboard and mouse as well. So pretty much a full package. I also tried to pre-build, which I've done in the past, uh, but at this point in time, I was able to get a better price on this pre-built with HP, with everything installed, with no time spent having to put together a PC for less money than it would actually cost me to build it. Uh, this PC, as you can see, is pretty well specced, uh, which just with the i7 processor and the NVIDIA graphics card. It was already going to be hard enough to try to match the price I was able to get on Amazon uh, at $1,400, $1,441 to be exact. At the time of making this video, the price has now jumped uh, to $1,699, but even at that price, it's still a good deal. But I would say at this point, if you're looking to purchase something, I'll leave a link below uh, to the specific one that I purchased. And then maybe you can wait and see if um, it ends up going back on sale again. I think now with the pricing, the way things are going, uh, with everything kind of shutting down, um, parts are starting to be more expensive to come across. If you go to HP's website, uh, you'll see that it's sold out at the moment. Uh, you can't even purchase it from HP. Uh, I was able to get it off of Amazon, like I said, on a sell price. So I ended up getting a really good deal. Uh, but I also went through all of the uh, different... I buy power and a lot of those other sites and uh, could not price something comparatively with the graphics card and the i7-9700 Intel card. Um, it was coming up around 1700 plus. Uh, could not get it down into less than $1,500. So what I would say is um, take a look at the link that I leave below, see if it ends up going back on sale. And if it does, um, it's a great bundle for the price and you know, just quick plug and play it was set up and running in a number of minutes to not have to worry about uh, parts coming and having to put together a system 
And at this point, like I stated, you wouldn't even be able to price it out for any less than what it is now anyway. So. All right, so there you have it. That is the HP Omen. Um, really high spec out computer. Got it for just a smoking good price, um, $1,400 uh, with everything installed, including Windows, which uh, when you start adding that all up uh, on PC Park Picker, I uh, started to try to price it out. I could not come up with anything less than $1,600. Of course, if you go to the bill yourself, you might be able to find some a uh, little bit better spec'd out parts like a motherboard, um, your RAM, and some of those things. But this PC has is, 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 is really got some good uh, pieces to it including the motherboard and the, the memory, which you don't find a lot of times in a lot of the pre-built. Uh, sometimes with uh, cyber power or iBuy power, um, you go through the specs and you'll find out that they're using good chips and a good uh, graphics card, but then you'll notice that the motherboard and the RAM and all that are, are lower end, which in this particular case with HP, you have to remember that this is a giant multi-million or billion dollar corporation uh, that can buy parts much cheaper than any of us ever could. Um, and in fact, even produce some of their own in-house, so that helps with the cost. But at the end, you, you still get a fantastic uh, gaming PC for the price. Again, it did go up um, to you know the 1600 you no know, mark now, um, which is kind of surprising, being the fact that I just picked this up just a few days ago. But like anything else, supply and demand is um, probably allowing the pricing to go up a little bit. So what I would do is uh, maybe hit the link that I've got down below. If you're interested in this computer, see if it happens to go back down. And even if not, just do some research um, on your own. See if you can find something similarly specced. Like I said, I just had a hard time. I knew I wanted to get the Intel i7 processor. Uh, the i9 is, is a great processor, but for what I needed, um, you start to pay a little bit more money for that. And then also with the NVIDIA 2080 uh, graphics card, you're paying a huge premium for that and just not getting a lot in return. So I like the fact that I was able to get um, the graphics card that's a, you know the older model, same with the i7 Intel card um, or chip, and then also um, everything else about the uh, system is, is well specced out. So for the price, you know, I, I couldn't beat it, couldn't uh, find a way to, to even build it myself for a better price. Uh, so if you're in that same scenario, uh, best of luck to you. You know, I took a few different weeks now, you know, doing a lot of research. The idea behind this was um, to try to get back into some sim racing type stuff. And so this might be a little bit more spec'd out than even what I needed. But at the same time, it's better to uh, have some stuff uh, kind of get ahead of the game when it comes to PCs. Uh, you know how quickly things change um, and how um, different games come out and they start to require so much more processing power. The nice thing about this HP also is that uh, as you can see in the video it's a push of a button and you have access to the system so you can do any upgrading in regards to ram and anything else that you need to do um, it's easily upgradable comes with a liquid cooler um, and like i said it just it's a high-end system by a manufacturer that you can trust or at least that i felt like i could trust and then also at the same time you know doing it through amazon I was actually not only did i get it on a sell price but i was also able to use my amazon prime card which also gave me 5% back. So in the end, um, it was really a steal. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. And again, if you would uh, please hit the like and subscribe button. Have a lot more content like this coming soon, uh, especially once I start to get my my whole rig set up, uh, you know, with my you know sim racing rig and wheel and all that kind of stuff too. So if you're interested in any of that, please uh, subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.